What is going on, you guys? I want to do a little series about the Astrodome, the Houston Astrodome. Um, some of my closer friends know I have a pretty huge infatuation with the Houston Astrodome. Um, originally from Pearland, Texas, which is about 10 minutes straight south um, from Houston. And back in the day, I could get to the Astrodome from my house in about 15 minutes. And so I went to a ton of Astros games in 97, 98, in their last year of the Astrodome in 1999. Um, so I have some different memorabilia and stuff that I've never really shown and some really cool stories that I think um, that people would like to hear. So um, we're going to do it. There's going to be a lot of rambling. I haven't really prepared for this or anything like that. So here we go. Um, it would have been around 19, I think it was 1998, the Houston Astros were playing the Pittsburgh Pirates. At the time, the Astros were in the NL Central, and the Pirates were in the NL Central, and so they played them a lot. Um, at the time, I was also very, very big into playing the PlayStation. That was PlayStation 1 for you younger guys. Um, we just called it a PlayStation. It wasn't play PS2, PS3, none of that j jazz, just PlayStation. Um, and I played a lot of MLB The Show 98, MLB The Show 99. So another thing, I'm, I'm kind of giving you a lot of backfill. I know it seems like I'm jumping all over the place, but I'll come full circle, I promise. Um, and a lot of the IP graphers, a lot of the in-person graphers that watch this can probably attest to when you have a home team, um, it's a lot easier most of the time to get the away team. Um, because they're at a different atmosphere. They're not seeing the same fans every night. I feel like they just sign more than the home team, that they're in the same routine every night at their home stadium, and, and a lot of them just don't sign. At least how, that's how it was back in the day when I was an IP autograph chaser. So I was standing over the dugout on the third base side, which was the visitor side in the Houston Astrodome, minding my own business. I was closer to the home plate entrance, and I'm standing there, and I specifically remember I was looking out to the outfield, and, you know, I had a bunch of other graphers around me, and something, like, hit me in my chest. And I was like, and I just happened, like, reflex happened to just catch it. And I didn't know what it was, and it was a set of batting gloves. And I was like, holy smokes, like, I've I never got anything like this before. Um, I never asked for anything. I never found anything. Um, this was, like, my first game used interaction, I don't know what you'd call it, encounter. Um, and so I looked up, and Pittsburgh Pirates outfielder Al Martin was walking right towards me. And I looked up, and he was like, waved at me, and he's like, I hope you enjoy those. He went in, I seen him walk out, he got some new gloves, and went back to um, batting practice. And so I'm looking at the gloves, and they're, one of the gloves is like torn, like ripped right here. So I'm like, oh, that makes sense why he got rid of them. Um, so I'm like, man, that'd be so freaking cool to get these things signed. Um, like most IP autograph guys, I was prepared. I have all, I had, I had the, the gold markers, the silver markers, the blue sharpies, the black sharpies. I had it all. And I'm like, man, this would be so freaking cool to get these signed. Um, and so I stayed there, and he was coming. You know, they were wrapping up batting practice, and he was coming my way. And I was like, hey, can you sign these? Can you sign these? And he's like, no, sorry. And he's like, got to go, got to go. So he left. Well, back then, I would always leave the game in like the seventh or eighth inning to go outside of the Astrodome because you could access the player's um, parking lot and the and the visitors bus very very easy and so I'm standing there and I see you know I I don't remember every it was like uh, Francisco Cordova Ricardo Rincon Jason Kendall was a big guy on the on the Pirates at the time and I seen everybody get on the bus there was no Al Martin and I was like dude you've got to be kidding me this freaking stinks man and I stayed there for like an hour and a half um, after the game. The bus left. A couple more dudes trickled out. And I just gave up. I was like, man, this freaking sucks. Whatever. 
So I'm walking back to my car. I think I'm like a senior in high school, walking back to my, my car, my, my mom's car. Um, and I see a guy walking towards me. And I mean, it's dark, dude. They've already turned off all the lights in the parking lot. And he's hailing a cab in the, in the um, Astrodome parking lot. And I'm walking and I'm like, dude, that's, that's Al Martin. He's like right freaking here. And I know I'm talking about him like he's some kind of big name, but I'm like freaking out. And so I walked up to him and was like, hey, Mr. Martin, could you sign these gloves? And he was like, yeah, man, no problem. So I pulled out my gold marker. He signed them. Um, and I was in wood shop my senior year in high school. And so I had this frame. I made this frame. Um, I had the glass custom made. I did everything. Um, and so it's kind of cheesy. So don't make fun of me too much. Um, but here's the gloves. I'm sorry for the glare. I'll take a picture and post it at the end of this video without the glare. Um, but here's the gloves. You can see the signature right there. Um, kind of two of my favorite cards of his. And there's the back of the frame. Um, but after that, dude, I was like a huge Al Martin fan. Huge. And back to going full circle to play an MLB The Show, I, I drafted or traded Al Martin to be on the Astros. And then I maxed all of his stats out to be 99 and he was like if mike trout mickey mantle and freaking like joe dimaggio had a baby like al martin was the man with the plan dude on mlb 99 after i was done with him um so that is a story um, i've actually wanted to share with y'all for years and years every time i see this frame and this frame up here that will be a subject of a, of a future video, I always think, man, this would be so cool to do a video. I, I, I think people would like to hear stories like this. So that is my Al Martin story and my story of how um, I got really, really big into game use memorabilia after that. And it was all because of that one encounter. So that is that. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope it wasn't too much rambling. Um, so until next time, adios. Be safe. Bye-bye. Toodles.